Hey guys, it's Krishanti with Krishanti.com, bringing you weekly videos about psychic development, spiritual and personal growth, and relationships. And before I get into this week's topic, which is Ouija boards, I have a couple of things to say. Number one, there may be some background noise that you're hearing because the kids are playing outside. So just be aware of that, and I apologize. And secondly, if you love this realm of psychic development and spiritual growth and everything, I'd love it if you joined the party and subscribed or hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video um, because I do do them every week and I'd love you to be a part of all of this. So that said, let's get into the whole Ouija board thing. First and foremost, I have to say that I don't think anyone should be dabbling in the psychic arts, especially when it comes to spirits and ghosts, without being fully aware of what you could be opening yourself up to. And the thing about Ouija boards is they're sort of like a portal for lower level energies or ghosts or spirits that are stuck on the astral plane and haven't transcended into the light or gone up to the other side to come in here and communicate and monkey with people. And it's a very real phenomenon. I mean, we all hear stories about haunted houses and freaky things happening. And there's all kinds of like terrifying movies about the dark side that I can't even watch because it's just so scary. And I hate to say this, but it's real. And as a practitioner of the psychic arts, um, I've come across some really terrible things that are just just no good. And so when you dabble with that and you, you, you play with the Ouija board, you don't know who's going to come through. You don't know if it's even a who or, or if it's an it. And you don't know what's going to happen. You have to be really careful, like, especially if you're drinking or, you know, it's Halloween. I originally am posting this around Halloween time just because I thought it would be apropos. But um, you really want to be safe and protected. And this shit is real. That, that dark stuff does exist. And I would say keep yourself safe and, and avoid it at all costs. Because what can happen, too, is let's say you, you really want to hear or you're, you're, you're curious to see if somebody that you know who died is going to come through. And first of all, I wouldn't approach this with a sense of that kind of, that kind of curiosity because it is very sacred. And while certain aspects of the psychic thing, um, where curiosity, how am I trying to say this? Curiosity can be good when it when it encourages you to learn and grow. But if you're just curious to see if a dead person's spirit's around and you just want to find weird stuff out, I, I just would avoid that because ghosts too and spirits can trick you and they can be deceitful and you can think it's that person and it's somebody, somebody else altogether. It happens a lot. That's why there's so many protocols in place and so much intensive training for those people who really want to be good mediums or really want to be good intuitives and, and work in the light. Um, so you don't know what you're opening yourself up to and, and what could come through and whether or not it's, it's accurate and whether or not anything you're getting is going to be helpful or useful. Basically, I think what I'm trying to get at, the gist of all this is, Playfulness is great when you're learning to access your intuition and you're you're working on on all that from a point of view of like spiritual development and evolutionary sort of soul growth. But if you're feeling like playful about entities and scary things that could happen, you don't want to play with them because they could destroy your entire life. Uh, like you could invite things to come into your home or into your auric field that will wreak havoc. And, um, you know, some of those things that we see in movies, you can think like, oh yeah, it was just a movie or it's made up, but it comes from something. It comes from somewhere. 
and I would rather see you guys uh, or see people be safe than encounter something that takes a lot of work to, to get rid of or maybe you don't even know that you've opened up to it and then you're being influenced by some spirit you invited in through the Ouija board that's hanging around and making you want to smoke or do crazy things and like you know like getting attached like an attachment those things happen too so um in all seriousness it is very real so it might be better to play twister or shoots and ladders um or even light as a light as a feather stiff as a board which as a side note one of my best friends said she and her friends played when they were little and it actually worked once and they were like oh my god so i, I totally believe that little girls having a slumber party um can do crazy things but just don't break out that ouija board because it's not going to do anyone any favors if you really want to hear from a loved one go to not me because i don't do that kind of thing but go to a trusted medium who has a good track record of, of connecting and, and delivering helpful and insightful messages. So um, I hope that that makes sense and that helps. And I know it was maybe a little preachy, but um, that dark stuff is scary and it's real. So let's avoid it um, and just stay away from all that. And I think that's it for now. If you have any stories about spirits and hauntings or or anything interesting you'd like to talk about even just a good experience with a medium or with getting a message from a loved one who passed on please put it in the messages below and um, I think that's it thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye